Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, Swansea, lovely. So, I'm going to do today, I'm going to do my little mix because I've got to go on telly. So, I'm going to do a little mix as a base. I'll show you my favorite things I like to do at the moment. So, I take two pumps of BFF. One, two. This is very extravagant, by the way. And then I take a little bit of Mary, which is our BFFI, and put that on. I love to do concoctions. This is how I come up with new ideas for things. But um, you can't use, you know, red and green always to make one color. Do you know what I mean? You have to start from scratch as well. Um, I'm going to use Izzy, which I did have here. I've got an Izzy, but it's new, so it's difficult to open. Hang on, I think I've got another Izzy. I know I'm going to get very, very messy very quickly. Um, I haven't got another Izzy, so let me try and open this one. Sometimes at the beginning you'll find, because they're airtight, our jars, difficult to open. So my trick is I take a piece of fabric and I open this. I'm going to take a new Izzy, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that too. There. And I'm going to mix this together, but I'm also going to put a tiny bit of sunlight in there, which is, come on, baby, to me. No, I can do starlight, actually. I'm going to do a bit of starlight, which is our highlighter. So, like that on my hand, like it's a recipe. And then mush it together, and then dab dabble it around like that taking questions still darling because this is just the application part yeah no everyone's still saying good morning good that morning. they love making magic potions of their own i mean it's just fun making magic potions and at the moment when it's bloody rainy outside and it's suddenly turned into a horrible spring weather it's kind of i think it's going to set us up for a different week so we've got to take advantage i mean i know some of you are in hong kong, hong kong and australia and you're looking at a bright sunshiny day for those of us who are looking at a rainy day think of the benefits of this what would you normally do on a rainy day oh you might tidy out a cupboard <laughs> make some banana bread whatever so i'm rubbing this in like that and because i've got the BFFI in there, I'm getting some extra vitamin C and hyaluronic on my skin. Nice little plumping there. I've got a little light on, by the way, very low, just to give you my skin better. If I tap the screen, it might be a better ba white balance. Um, so, really get in there with this, you know, get in that under eye and get in the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so the base is on. So I'm now going to show you some colour combinations that I love. Um, any questions, Esme? Um, someone just asked you, you just repeat what you just put on your um, face again. So I did BFF, which is our um, skin perfecter. It's got SPF 30 in it, and it, which is also very good, by the way, for all our light we've got in front of our screens when we're on the computer, and not just the sunlight. And it has in it um microspheres and they break and they become the color of your skin and there's five shades um then i put on bffi which is our under eye serum has had a baby with a concealer i'm now going to just take a little bit of trintron because where i use that machine this morning perhaps i'm a little bit red so i want to make a flawless base because we're going to try out some new shade combinations okay like that so i'm taking a bit of trintron and just putting it where I might have a tiny bit of redness. Trintron is our concealer foundation, but you need just a touch. Sorry, just a touch is our concealer foundation. I wear Trintron. Okay, color combinations, which I have made up here like a recipe. Um, so I'm gonna go to split pots. Can you show me? There. I might do, in the meantime, a little bit of Miracle Blur. So, when I do Miracle Blur, um, I use it when I feel that I look at my skin and I kind of see that there's um, the lines around my lips aren't looking that great. And I have here some scars. And then 
I have sometimes here that sort of 11, just gentle little lineage. So I always, when I put on Miracle Blur, I put on quite a lot, like that much. And I go into, I start with my scar, and there, and then tap it in, and I blend it in, and it will just blur that scar. It's like an indent scar. So that is that dealt with. Then I'll go above my lip line and I'll put a layer on and just then blend it in and it will go into the lip lines and soften them. It won't make them disappear, depends how deep they are, but for me, it really softens the lip line like that. And then underneath my chin, I have a little bit of sort of pitting. You know, that's from old acne scars, uneven skin tone. So I put that on and it just blurs that uneven skin tone like that. There. Here as well, I have old acne scarring. You see? So I put it there. Blend it in. Just keep blending it. It is a miraculous product. That's why I called it Miracle Blur. Now, some people have big pores around here, and I think it's very good just to blend around that area. If you feel you suffer from larger pores, it just blurs them. And if you're somebody who's very, very oily, um, as opposed to light glowy, you might want to do just around here, and also that 11. You know that 11 I was showing you just here? So I tap that on. There. Tap it in and then I just blend it out because I quite like a little bit of glow. I don't want to take that glow away. And then maybe just, oh dear, in the hairline. What's new in the hairline? There. A miracle in a pot, Miracle Blur. Okay, so favorite combinations. I'm gonna give you a favorite easy eye combination I love, which is Desire, which is that one, with Wisdom. So Wisdom is our most universal eye shade. So when I put Wisdom on, I will just start and gently place it going back and forth. I usually start at this sort of outer corner of my eye, but try not to go too far down, but just back and forth. I can do it on its own and you can really build up wisdom. But if you want a wash of just something that's there, it's amazing how under this light you can see it better. It just gives you something to your eyes. But if I bring wisdom into the equation, any questions, darling? Um, no, um, but Lorna says um, good morning from South Africa, and that she wishes we could get um, the products there. Well, you ship, we ship worldwide, Lorna. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go on Trini London, you can do your match to me. I'm going to take Desire now, and I'm just going to do a little line here. Like that. Just a little smoky line. Um, Elaine says that she's just bought her match to me and she absolutely loves it. Fantastic. And what would be the next product you think she should buy to start building up her Trini London collection? Well, she just bought her match to me? Yeah. Okay, but then, I mean, if she's bought her entire match to me, because match to me might be 40 of the 70 colours, so I don't quite know what she means. If she's bought her first stack and it was the recommended for you first set of products, I'm just softening desire, by the way. Um, then without knowing her match to me, it would be difficult for me to say, but I can give you a general order. This might be helpful that people buy their products in. So I'm just blending that in there. Like that. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of the desire and just add some here. A little light, lighty smoky. There. And then just under here, back and forth. I'd say 
if I'm if I was building up the set, the first thing for me is the BFF because that's like the foundation of everything. It changes your skin. It makes people think you have a new skincare routine and you've just changed your makeup. It, if you've been used to wearing foundation, you take that off. Then it kind of it gives you that glow, a little bit of coverage. BFFI, I would do next, um, in ca unless you have very bad skin or skin which you really want to cover every day, and then I'll do just a touch. Um, and then I'll do a lip and cheek, a lip glow, and an eye. That's kind of my order. So that's the base, that's your basic stack, that's five products, because the BFF comes in a little pot. Once you've got that, that's your makeup. You can do that in literally one minute. After that, it depends on specifics. So. If you, if you look at your match to me, you could think, what eyes shall I get? So if you've got one smoky eye and one neutral eye, you could then go for one fun eye. So to me, my neutral eye in my match to me is it's wisdom. My smoky eye is desire or empress. My fun eye is queen or victory or sometimes chariot. So that's the kind of order I'd say. And then sheer shimmer, I mean, everything I love. So it's difficult because I made it all, but um, Sheer Shimmer is a joyful product when you're going towards spring. It's a lip and cheek color. So I think if you don't have a Sheer Shimmer, I would do that next. Yeah. So I'm just, you see, I'm just building this up there. In fact, I'll do one eye in one and one eye in something else, shall I? So this is just desire and wisdom, like that. And then at the end, I will take um, a little bit of, I'll take a little bit of um, concealer under eye and just clean it up around the edge. There. Just to bring that back up there. So on the, on this eye, I'm going to, with Lila's number seven, revitalizing cleansing wipes which I still don't believe in but for the sake of this film today I need to take that off. I'm going to do this side with another favorite combination. So, um, and this I must say that this mirror makes it a little bit let me show you without the but you can see the color there. Maybe it's better without that I don't know. Makes it a bit warmer with this light. Do you see her? Yeah. When I do eyes, I'm gonna have it a bit on because otherwise the film would be weird. But when I when I do do eyes, um, and I'm building up colour, I kind of like to do my blusher a little bit first. So combinations that I use, if I was thinking of like, in fact, I don't know if I've done these yet. So I really want to do them. Is oh, let's do let's do a really easy one, Freddie. And Maddie. So Freddie is probably my the colour of my lips nearly. So when I do Freddie, I could just put it on here. And I go straight across the top here. I want that sort of slightly undone lip. And then I put Maddie on top. And if I'm doing a smoky eye brownie a smoky eye. I love that combination. There. Don't know which is better. What are they saying is better with or without the light? Um, I can see better without the light, I think. Can you? Like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to do this side now with another of my favourite combinations, which is Magician with a little bit of, and I've just got to clean up under my eye. Um, let me get clean up under my eye. Um, just, and I'll last in the color. Yeah, I'm going to do Magician and Chariot. I've got it here. No, I'm going to do Magician and Chalice. Yes, Magician and Chalice. You hear the rain, it's just splattering away. So I'm just cleaning up here the eye. So this is Magician 
and it's bottom one and chalice is the top one so chalice is sort of this movia blue um, so what I tend to do when I do this eye is I'll just start with a wash of magician like that and just blend it on the eye there on its own it's really pretty magician a lot of kind of cool blondes with peaches and cream skin look beautiful in this cool, cool toned color. And when my hair is cooler, it's better. If my hair looks too red, this is too cool for me. But you can just go back and forth with Magician and put it on like that. And that sort of steel gray picks up um, very well with the blue eye. And yeah, like that. So it just builds up. Now, if I, if I come in with a bit of chalice, it gives that wash of sort of lavender over the top. You see that? There. And then I just, I kind of, because chalice has a little bit more shimmer, I'm just putting it there and then you could come in if you wanted to with a little bit of oh this is like oh I'm gonna like this one I'm gonna like this one sorry I'm just hanging out here like you know you're just hanging along with me I think you're enjoying it I'll just put this up a bit because I'm feeling I'm very short at the moment oh, there it's better oh yes much better. otherwise I'm crouching down no 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 this little iPod has a mind of its own. Come on, come on, baby. No, no, I want you to go that way. Yes. You know how many times I talk this tripod like it's a dog. Okay, so I'm going to come in very riskily for me and I'm going to smoke it up with a little bit of. Um, so that's ITV are just calling me. Um, Esme, could you slack Louise and just tell ITV I'll be on in a minute? What time is it? Yeah, it's um, quarter past ten. Quarter past ten, okay. So, coming in with Universe, and I'm just smoking up and going up here like that, and then just doing a little bit underneath. There. Like that. And then I'm going to go and take, this is quite risky, and take a bit more and just go in here. Any questions, darling, as I'm doing this? Um, no, but if there are people talking about Anna in the comments, and Jo said that she's even got her son using Anna now. It's oh, good. it's so good. And you know what? I sent it to lovely Anna, who it's sort of, it's named after two Annas in my life. One is Anna's sister, who's a redhead, who's on our site. And the other is um, Anna, who's one of our investors. But the, one of the, ones um it's it's just very good if you if you're also got very dry lips because of medication i have to say like i have a couple of friends of mine's kids on Rectane for spots and they really have helped by it so i'm just blending this in and building up that smoky eye with universe at the top now and a little bit, I'm going to go back in with the chalice and then put it on that inner bit. It's all looking very messy, but it will improve. And it will improve, I hope. And then I'm going to go underneath again with the chalice like that. There, and then I'm gonna blend it more with a little blendy brush because I need more blending here. Back and forth. There. And then here blending. Just blend. And Marie's there. asking how Lily is. Oh, she's so much better, thank you. She um, hasn't 
we've had a two days of no pee. I did get her little nappies as well, but we've got her on antibiotics. So I hope this is going to be the, um, the um, cure. And if it's not, then we'll try incontinence. I'm just going to blend that too. Just always feel you can blend and blend and blend. So I'm gonna pick this up in a minute and tidy up here because it's gone too far down. So I'm gonna go back to the busy. Very. I have no mirror here. Let me just. Hang on a second. Um, Jilly is asking what brush you're using. I'm using. This is the tea kit, which is a stackable brush. And there's three of them. So there's the blender brush, there's the um, eyeliner brush, and there's a lip brush. And then they go like that. And then I'm using for that sort of bigger blend out one of Lila's, which is by, I can't read it, can you read it? I don't know, so I'm just, sorry, I've got, I've got my glass on, I think this is taking a while to blend. Can you see Esme? Pardon? Can you see it? Because you see I've got left a little bit of line there, so this is where taking a little, um, I've done this trick so often now, I'm really sorry if you've just, if you just joined me the first time, what a joy you'll see it for the first time, but I then take the um, under eye concealer like that, and I start to just do the line I want, like that. There. And then I could even now, maybe put some mascara on. So I'm going to use today um, Honest Company. It's got this primer first, like that. I don't quite know what the primer does, but it's meant to add to the lash. And then you take the lash. It's got a plastic brush, which I don't particularly like, but it gives a nice mascara. So twist and turn. We've got Nancy that's just joined from San Francisco. Oh, Jane Nancy, Nancy, hello, darling. From hello, darling. We're having a very gentle morning eye makeup. I'm going right in the corner here to pick up those extra lashes. So these are now all my lashes. And I am using a lot of, I'm using superior hair, which helps grow hair and I think it's helping growing lashes um, and I'm using biotin which sometimes breaks me out and I'm using um, Revitalash a little bit but it does give me a dark under eye just do some. okay so just to give you an idea to take forever this but what the hell so that's my kind of smoky eye when I want to do a sort of blue inspired smoky eye but it's not blue so it's um greys and it's magician here and that's chalice up there and then a little bit of um universe on the top and this is my kind of brownie smoky eye and if i was smoking this up more i might add on a little bit more um i might add on if i've got it here with some desire empress i might add on a bit more empress so i'll just show you i was adding on more empress like that. So I do Empress with Wisdom. It's one of my favorites. Like that. It does look a little bit orangier. Let me just turn that light off totally. There. You can see that's a bluer and that's that. Um, what I'm going to do now, because I have got to get ready for telly as we're doing this, is I'm going to do the other eye quite quickly. Um, in the magician and then I'll do show you how I do my lips differently when I do a sort of cool eye. Any other questions, Esme, in the meantime? Um, no, no questions. Everyone's just saying hello from all over the world. Okay, darling. Nobody's asking anything. Ask me something, otherwise I feel I'm literally just on my own here. Um, so so some, someone's asking where your top's from. Top is from Serena Butte. Gonna do magician all over, and then I'm gonna do a bit of chalice. Like that. Take a 
think a bit more addition there. And I you see I'm doing it much quicker now that I've that I'm not showing you guys. And then I'm just gonna go down here with some magician, smoke it up a bit. James asking if you ever put mascara on your bottom lashes. I do actually. I'm going to do that at the very end with both of them. Um, I I do like to put on my bottom lashes. I'm going to do a little bit of the chalice mixed together with the magician under my eye a bit more. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to the um, universe, which I've lost. And I'm just going to plop that there. And then I'm going to go and build the line up like that. And then go along my lash line. Um, Joanne is asking, if you could, which is your favourite um, blusher and why? Your favourite shade? Um, it depends what I'm doing. Everyday shade would probably be wigs named after my sister because it's this sort of very easy apricotty shade which I can wear with so many different things. If I'm doing a smoky eye, it's definitely Electra because it's softer and I want to have the emphasis totally on the eye. So I don't want the blusher to dominate. Um, uh, okay, so that kind of gives me a bit. And then I'm going to now clean it up, doing the side much quicker, hopefully, with a little bit of Izzy on the outside like that to give the right shape to my eye there. It's really important to just go in that little bit and not have that covered, especially if you have a, an eye that sort of overhangs slightly. So I'm going to go back to the mascara and do the little lush thickening thing that they give you first. This is Honest Company Mascara. And then I'm going to go to the mascara itself and I go right in the middle right in, twist, and pull out my lashes. Right in, twist, and pull out my um, lashes. A few people are asking what would be the best lip to compliment a moon eye. A moon eye. Well, I think a moon eye is so pretty and soft that I quite like a nice, strong lip. So I love Valentina with moon. Um, and I love Pookie with moon. So... I mean, you can build up moon. If you're very pale skinned, it's a mid-tone, but otherwise, to me, it's a pale eye shade. But I'll just show you. So um, let me show you moon. Okay, so the eyes are done. Miracle. Um, and I, oh, let me show you a little bit of moony, 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 moony. Where's moon? It's a cool. Here's moon. I could even put a tiny bit of moon. I could have put a tiny bit of moon, by the way. Just, um, just, yeah, this is moon. Well, that would be moon if it would come out. There. It can be just taupey moon. And then I think what I'll do, um, so with Moon, I like, I'll show you my little Valentina moment. So I just love these two together. Moon and Valentina. I just like the brightness because I think it is a soft color. Whatever your skin tone is, it's a soft neutral colour, so you can afford to use that for a bright lip. Because I think with a bright lip you need something. 
but you don't need the whole enchilada because it would take it over. So going on to blusher, I'll show you the difference. So when I'm doing this kind of smoky eye, I'll do wigs or I'll do electro, depending on how tired I look. But I'll just show you the difference between the two. One is more peachy and one is more pinky. So wigs is a bit more pinky and electro is just a more dusky, soft rose color. So this is just... The good thing about electro when you've done a smoky eye, you can really softly build it like this. It's very sort of controllable, easy color. It especially goes well when you're doing these cooler, smoky eyes as well. Wigs, on the other hand, you'll see it immediately gives that pop of pink more. And I just think with the look I'm doing, I actually want to go softer with the Electra. Um, a lot of people in the comments are asking for kind of a few eye to eye shades best for hazel eyes. Best for hazel. Um, I'll show you my favorite hazely eyes. So, um, a few I like hazel, like I do actually love the hazel, um, if I've got it here, the combination of strength and Dahlia. I just think it's so beautiful for hazel eyes. I've done some Lila, but strength, is a kind of like an aubergine shade like that it's very nice with hazel and then dahlia which is one of our lip loves is so beautiful with hazel eyes and you can do either like that and you can really wash it out like that or you can do a shock of a liner but those make a hazel eye so poppy so popping and on certain hazel, depending on your hair colour, I also like um, I won't say no to a bit of fortune. There. Um, and I won't say no you've got sort of brown hair, hazel eyes, and an olive skin to, I think, Queen just looks so beautiful. Like that. And then Chalice, actually, on a hazel eye, I have done. Um, and it does look fantastic. So it, it does help to go and do Match To Me and look at those colours that you suit and then think how can you build them up together. Um, I can definitely show you if you like more concepts of, of eye colours that really work well together. So um, another combination that I really like is Moon and Lovers together. So this is kind of cool again. So Lovers is more purpley and strength is more plummy if you compare them. So that's lovers. Do you see that aubergine bit in it? Really push that. And then moon is a lovely accent on it. Like that. It's just that sludginess together. Let me turn off this actually, I don't think. There, can you see? So that's lovers, and then that goes to moon. Like that. Um, um, let's see what else. Oh, I'll tell you another one I like together a lot. <sighs> Which one do I not like together a lot? Um, is I don't know how many of you have tried chariot. Chariot is really beautiful. You have to just see or match me to see which one you are but chariot chariot and universe together makes the most incredible smoky eye um but it's a slightly greeny shade it's beautiful on a green eye it's lovely on a um hazel eye too but 
it's a sort of mid color chariot it sits mid so some people who are cool can wear it and some people who are a little bit warm can wear it but that is universe there with chariot you can just see that beautiful shimmer of chariot sludgy wonderfulness um and also when I do that, I love doing it with, um, oopsie, with wigs blusher. Just love that together. I do that a lot actually. It just sometimes Chariot really loves, loves that slightly pinkier blusher. And then it also loves, it also loves, if it's in that kind of mood, it loves Eugenie. It loves Eugenie so much. I just happen to do <clears throat> this one. Let me just do lip love I mean lip love Shaney here and I do those together a lot so I'll do Eugenie on my lips I'll do chariot on my eyes with universe and I'll do wigs as my blusher I just love that combination saying that they were meant to be coming to London in a couple of weeks but they had to cancel their appointments but they can't wait to come next year instead. Oh good darling yes I mean you know we are doing virtual appointments and from the 18th I'm just gonna tidy up my brows from the 18th we are doing we're doing releasing more virtual appointments and there will be a charge for them but um moving forward um because we did this sort of pilot scheme to see how it worked and they sold out in literally a few hours so uh we are on the 18th going to launch it properly and you'll be able to do it so if you know we're in this situation where we're staying safely at home and you're thinking i'd actually love to get it done sooner you could book a virtual appointment and get that done um what else i want to show you i'm sure you want to yes i'm just now i'm just going to do my browsers we're chatting any other question darling um no but a few people are saying they're going to book in to come back to london next year um, that they would love for you to do split pots, everyone's desperate for them, they're saying. I know, I mean, it is something that we will be considering as a special thing, much, you know, within a period of time. Um, also, Helen asked, what does, like, can the makeup stay put during a menopause flush, she said. Um, I think... You could ask other ladies on here. You know, I think we've had, we have a lot of customers who are in your situation and they are very happy with, um, with Trini under makeup. So I'd say definitely yes. I'm just giving a bit more definition to the eyebrow. I'm using a little bit of Bobbi Brown here in brunette. I think I'm done. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't see your comments. It's it's frustrating for me. I have to fix that. Instagram are doing a lot of stuff. Um, I'm changing a lot of stuff, as is Facebook. But I think what they are doing is they're going to be able to, that I can do lives and I can get people to come in to a live on Facebook, which I've been doing on Instagram and I haven't been able to do on Facebook. So I'm quite excited about that. And I'm thinking, who would I have in on the live? Um, for this look, I'm just going to actually finish off with a tiny bit of contour because I'm going to go on telly and I just need a bit. Um, and I'm going to mix Kate and Swala together like that. All right. Do you shout if there's questions, darling? Yeah, no, everyone's just saying that you look fab. I'm just going to um, put that... And then I'm doing my little trick Ray taught me, which is to go up at the end. Don't go down. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Really nearly over that cheekbone meeting the blusher. And then just go back here, put it into that curve of your cheekbone. Okay, sorry, I've got, I've realized I've got something else on my bloody hand that happens all the time. So I've put something weird on, so I'm just gonna go with some I can find my little cleaner up at Izzy. Where's my cleaner up at Izzy? Or I could do cleaner up at Trintron. I could do anything I could, oh, there it is. Just so I can.
clean up underneath there where I've just gone and then if you clean up it then gives you a better line so I clean up here you can see I've really screwed up that that she's putting on her makeup at the same time as you oh lovely it's nice you know it's very nice for me to do it like this because it's kind of ritualistic i'm not rushing it and having a little chat with girlfriends as you do it it's kind of the nicest way to do makeup um Val says that she can't wait to try all the tips that you've just been saying lovely done um, i'm gonna put a bit more blusher on um, and a tiny bit of bronzer on, actually, and just for this, because I'm going to do telly, so I'm going to put a bit of swirler on here and just give a little bit of warmth to my face there. Yeah. There, and then I'm going to go back with that little bit of blusher, go with the Electra and build that up. And I'm going to build it up. Sometimes when you want a slightly stronger blusher, maybe you want to use a brush, it's up to you you get that more sweeping. It's easier to do that concept of a sweep and have the distribution at the same time. There. And then a little bit over the forehead, tiny bit on the eye, just to bring the story together. And there, I am done now. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. And um, I got, don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day, but um, just look out Trini TV. There's always something on that you can follow. And um, have a lovely day. And if you just got up for your day, I hope it's a good one. If you're just going to bed, sleep well.